हेलो एवरीवन होप यू ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड वेलकम बैक टू एम एस एफ टी वेब कास्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द स्टेप्स ऑन हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एंड कन्फिगर डी एच सी पी सर्वर रोल विथ विंडोज एडमिन सेंटर विंडोज एडमिन सेंटर अलाउ इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ रूल्स एंड फीचर्स टू लोकल और रिमोट सर्वर्स यू मस्ट बी लॉग ऑन टू अर विंडोज एडमिन सेंटर एज एन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर to install or uninstall rules rule services and features in the first step we will install dhcp server role on our domain controller using the windows admin center click on ws2022-dc01 to connect to our dc scroll down and click on rules and features using rules and features menu we can install and uninstall rules and features on the selected server click on the server role which you want to install in this example we want to install thcp server role on the selected server click on thcp server you can also select a server role check box at top bar click on install this will install DHCP server role with DHCP management tools on the selected server. Restart is not required for DHCP server role installation, so we are not going to select it. Click on yes to continue with installation. Wait for the installation process to finish. This will take few seconds to complete the installation of DHCP server role on our domain controller. we can see the confirmation message that it has completed installation of dhcp server role on the destination server we have installed dhcp server role but the post deployment configuration is pending we can use powershell to complete it under tools click on powershell we have to create two local security groups that will be used to manage dhcp server and then authorize the new dhcp server in the active directory domain type cmd let add hyphen dhcp server security group and press enter key to create two local security groups dhcp administrators and dhcp users which will be used for dhcp delegation next we want to authorize the new dhcp server in our active directory domain msft webcast We have to run the command as the domain admin account that is the member of the enterprise admins group. Type cmd let add hyphen dhcp server in dc hyphen dns name ws2022 hyphen dc01 dot msft webcast dot com. Here ws2022 hyphen dc01 dot msft webcast dot com is the fqdn. of this windows server 2022 press enter key to execute the cm delete now let's restart the dhcp service by running command restart hyphen service dhcp server press enter key okay dhcp service has been restarted successfully type command exit and press enter key to close the powershell session At this point we have successfully completed DHCP post installation configuration. Now we can manage DHCP server role using Windows Admin Center. But for that we need to install DHCP extension in Windows Admin Center. Be sure you are running the latest version of Windows Admin Center which is version 2306 at the time of this video recording. You can download it from microsoft website aka.ms/wsc/download already i have created a video on how to install and use a windows admin center earlier check out that video first link is in description click the settings button in the top right corner and the gateway click on extensions the available extensions tab will list the extensions on the feed that are available for installation look for dhcp extension select dhcp extension and click on install after installation is complete 
a web browser will automatically be refreshed and Windows Admin Center will be reloaded with the new extension installed. To confirm it, go to Installed Extensions tab. We can confirm that the DHCP extension is installed successfully in Windows Admin Center. At the time of this video recording, DHCP extension is still in preview mode. Now we will need to connect to a DHCP server in our environment to manage DHCP server role. Click on Windows Admin Center. Click on WS2022-DC01 server to connect it. We will see the DHCP menu listed underneath Tools. Click on DHCP. Now let's create DHCP scope to assign IP addresses to the client computers. Click on New Scope to start the wizard. I'll keep IP version 4 selected as we want to create IP version 4 DHCP scope. Now type scope name. Enter DHCP scope range starting IP address and ending IP address. Specify the subnet mask for this IP range, which is going to be 255.255.255.0. Click on Add to specify the default gateway's IP address. Type the IP address 172.18.72.1. This is the IP address of our router. Next, we have to configure the lease duration for the IP address assigned by this DHCP server. We can specify how long we want the DHCP lease to last. The lease is how long the client can keep the TCP IP settings before it needs to come back to the DHCP server for a new lease or renewal. We will set the lease duration for one day. And last, you can add a description for this DHCP scope. When ready, click on create to create DHCP scope with these settings. DHCP scope created successfully. Click on newly created DHCP scope to edit it. From here, we can edit existing DHCP scope settings by clicking on add. Okay? For an example, let's create a new DHCP reservation. Click on New Reservation. Type name for this DHCP reservation. Enter the IP address which you want to reserve from this DHCP scope. Specify the MAC address of the client machine. After you specify the MAC address, click on Create to create new DHCP reservation. We can confirm that the DHCP reservation has been created successfully. Now, our DHCP server is ready to assign IP addresses to the client computer on the local network. Here, we also have other options like deactivating this DHCP scope or we can click on delete to delete this DHCP scope from the DHCP server. So this is how we can install and configure DHCP server role using Windows Admin Center. But we need DHCP extension in Windows Admin Center to manage the DHCP server role. That's all for this video on how to install and configure DHCP server role with Windows Admin Center. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions, please let me know in the comments section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.